Logan Paul is asking for forgiveness. Again, you're watching What's Trending. I'm Martine Bierman. Make sure to like and subscribe for more controversial YouTube stories. Logan Paul is the latest subject for a Hollywood Reporter in-depth feature, and it begins with Logan asking for pity. He says, I hate being hated. In the article, the fallen YouTube star tells THR exactly what happened in the suicide forest. He explained how his $13 million empire collapsed and shared how he plans to earn forgiveness. The article is written by Seth Abramovich, who also wrote a piece on Jeffrey Tambor, which attempted to rehabilitate his image after he was faced with sexual harassment allegations. Reactions to the article have not been kind. Like David Mack from BuzzFeed, who said, this is the whitest, mannest thing I have ever read. And Yvette Dion, who said, Logan Paul lives in a $6.5 million home. He made between one and $2 million for that boxing match. Why do publications insist on touting these redemption narratives as if canceled wealthy white men really lose anything. Not to mention all the eye-rolling memes that ensued. Logan has built a loyal fan base, AKA the Logan, and it's mostly made up of kids, and he's done it by posting high-energy YouTube vlogs. At his peak, Logan was posting one video every single day, which he says in hindsight may not have been the best idea. He said, we have a show that's being watched more than some of the biggest shows on TV with no budget, no producers, no actors, no writers, no review team. Something was bound to go wrong, and it did for me, to the largest degree possible. And this is where I personally get a little confused because at this point, once you start earning in the millions, doesn't a team start to form around you? Or don't you have people then that you like take your ideas and you're like, hey, is this a good idea? What do you think here? Is this gonna help me further and build my brand? Like. Don't people start investing in you and then want to have some feedback on the things that you do? I don't know. In Logan's case, I guess not. Until now. Logan tells THR that the idea to travel to Japan came from his girlfriend, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. actress Chloe Bennett. However, the two had an argument beforehand and Logan went solo. Chloe told Logan, this behavior is going to bite you in the ass. I don't know how, I don't know when, but you're going to crash and burn. By December 30th, Logan had posted videos from Tokyo that were perceived as disrespectful and disruptive to the culture. More than 40,000 people commented, mostly expressing distaste for the videos. But the trip wasn't over yet. Logan and his friends still had one more stop, Japan's sacred and heartbreaking suicide forest. Just a couple of dumb Americans going camping in a suicide forest. We got all our gear, we got a canopy tent, pillow, sleeping bag. We're gonna try to start a fire, guys. This is definitely gonna be a thing. A campfire, not Camp a forest fire. Campfire, not a forest fire. Thanks for the clarification. The group only walked about 100 yards when they stumbled upon a suicide victim. Logan told THR, I should have felt empathy. I should have been like, hey, this is wrong. Let's not do what we're doing. But that's not what happened. Logan sent the footage to his editor, blurred the body in the footage, and posted a video titled, We Found a Dead Body in the Japanese Suicide Forest. And the fact that Logan didn't display any empathy about posting this video had a lot of people asking if he's a sociopath. After tons of backlash, Logan deleted the video, got on a flight, and went straight to a meeting with his management team, where they created the idea of Logan doing a PSA documentary about suicide prevention. Unfortunately, it didn't hit the right note. Especially when he posted a vlog shortly after of himself using a taser on a dead rat found in his backyard. I was so used to people liking me, he says, but being hated, I hate it. I hate being hated. Logan is now doing pay-per-view YouTube boxing matches. He took home between one and $2 million for his last match in August. Logan now plans to head into podcasting. He has named his podcast Impulsive and installed a broadcast studio in his home. Actually quite a good name. And just in case you were wondering, hello, his last name is Paul, impulsive, because his actions are all super impulsive. <laughs> I think it's great. In October, YouTube released The Thinning New World Order, starring Logan, which makes a lot of his fans believe things are turning around for him. Logan said, good luck trying to cancel me. It's so easy for anyone to be like, Logan Paul just ended his career, he's done. But the only person who will ever decide whether that's true is me. Like, if I sleep for the rest of my life, maybe. But like, dog, I love this this creating, it's my passion. I think that it's fair to say that Logan's been through a lot since the situation happened. I don't know if he's quite where he should be growth-wise. Also, who am I to say where he should be? But I don't know he is, if he is where he could be growth-wise, given the amount of power and influence that he has and his amazing ability to channel all of that to ultimately do good for people. I hope he gets there, and I have total faith that he will. His platform fans massive, like intensely massive. 
mean, seriously, the guy's got millions upon millions upon millions of followers. If like half of them were to be like, screw you, we're done, he'd still have millions and millions and millions of followers. So do you guys think that Logan Paul's gonna make a comeback? Let us know in the comments, and for more trends, head to whatstrending.com.